a couple of days go by. And I, you know, I'm I'm trying to live the right way. The only thing he kept saying was, I want you back. I want you back. I want you back. So you don't went to rehab. And now you're in your recovery stage. But you keep having these terrified, demonic dreams of relapsing. Today, in this episode, I will give you eight reasons on why you are having those dreams and better ways to understand them. Now, let's get into it. At a late age in my life. Welcome everybody back to another episode. This is the Sober Gang Experience Podcast. Welcome everybody back. And to my new viewers, this is the Sober Gang Experience Podcast, where we dwell into the complex world of addiction and its path to recovery. Because in this podcast, you will get insightful interviews from experts, personal stories of triumph and redemption as we navigate this world of addiction together. But the reason why you are here, because you are having these terrifying demonic dreams of relapsing. I got eight reasons why you are having those dreams today. We're going to get into that. And also, everybody, I'm going to share with y'all the night, the day that I met Satan. Yeah, it is real. It is real. One thing about it, when we in our addiction, everybody, and when we in our recovery stage, we will have these dreams, these terrifying dreams. And we're trying to understand them why. There is a reason why we are having these dreams and we're trying to understand them today. So you stick around with me today. I'm glad y'all here. It's Monday, the day of our God. We finna have a great episode today, everybody. So we go unwind. We go do this screen share and we go play this video and we try to figure out why we are having these dreams. And as this woman cook, yeah, she finna cook. And what I mean by cooking is because she Go be giving us some information and while she cooking and giving us her information, I'm going to be cooking as well with y'all. I'm going to be giving y'all my commentary and uh, my commentary on the end as well. So this is going to be an awesome show. Y'all going to love it. So stick around because like I said, I'm going to also share with y'all the story. You seen the thumbnail. I got a great story, man. It's, it's a terrifying story, but it's a story that we all go through when we in our recovery. So let's get to it, y'all woke up in the middle of the night after having a frightening dream chances are you experienced a demonic attack demonic activity can take place while you sleep and can manifest in your dreams that is so true now i know everybody out there when you're in your recovery when you wake up out of those nightmares and those dreams you're like what is going on you really like you shook up you're waking up out of your dream you in these sweats you really trying to figure out what is going on. But these dreams are real. These dreams do happen. Dreams are relapsing. Dreams are these demonic entities in your dreams and you having to fight them off. That is one of the things we go through in our addiction because we live this journey of addiction for so long. And when you're trying to stop doing something for so long, there's always some kind of dark force that want to bring you back into it. Let's continue. So let's talk about dreams that reveal a demonic attack. There are dark dreams that you can have that show if you're in fact under a spiritual attack. So I'm going to talk about dreams that reveal a demonic attack. Number one, being locked in or closed in a room or a building. So if you now tell me this, I would love for y'all to comment below too. comment below. Make sure you let me know your most terrifying dream. I would love to hear what kind of dream that you have. Because we're going to play eight reasons why. We're going to break this down today. And I would love for y'all to watch every one of these reasons why. 
at this woman she's cooking she go get the cooking and i would love for y'all to comment below on what y'all dreams were let's go you have a dream that someone locked you in a room and you can't get out this could be showing that the enemy is attempting to lock you in and shut you down and that exactly uh, that exactly true that exactly what i said also when you're trying to get out of your addiction there's always this force you can call it what it is you can call it what it is because we're gonna keep it real on the sober gang experience podcast let me break it down to y'all i know y'all love to probably go to these certain podcasts when they talk on addiction and they be like welcome to my addiction channel are you in your recovery well if, when i was in addiction no 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 on this sober gang experience podcast we go keep it 100 the one thing about addiction and your recovery people want to know the truth people do people want to know tell it like it is that's what we love to do on my show we ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing we gonna keep it real with you because in addiction people got to keep it real with you people do not want to hear anything fake so you would not get one of those welcome to addiction and recovery are you in your recovery out of me no not on the sober gang experience podcast and i forgot everybody if y'all just tuning in, I'm the host, Mr. Show Out TV, and this is the Sober Gang Experience Podcast. We are breaking down eight reasons why we are having demonic and terrified dreams. Now, let's get back into it. In order to stop your progress in life. So being locked in a room or in a building can represent a demonic attack. Number two, being in jail or in prison. So if you have a dream where you're in jail or you've been locked up in prison and you haven't done anything wrong, this could be a sign that the enemy wants to confine the gift and the anointing that God has placed on the inside of you. See, when you are trying to get away from your addiction, that is one thing. This is a spiritual warfare that we are dealing with. This is very real. This is a spiritual warfare that we are battling within ourselves. And when we on our path to recovery, the enemy do not want to see that. The enemy really wants you back into the state of mind that you was in where he can control you. You are being controlled by that. And when the enemy see that you are trying to venture off and you're trying to get yourself right, you will start having these dreams. Let's continue. He wants to restrict and bind you up. And so this type of dream can be revealing a demonic attack on your calling and on your life's purpose. So be while we're here to make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to the new viewers out there. I would love your subscription. So make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. So our videos can continue to play. Now let's get back into it. Being in jail or being in prison can be showing a demonic attack on the life of the dreamer. Number three, being choked, smothered, or held down in a dream. So this type of dream reveals that the enemy is trying to shut you up and stifle your voice, particularly if you are in ministry or if your gift has to do with speaking in some way. Because when you're in ministry, now think about this. When you're in your recovery and you're getting out and you're telling other people about addiction. Because one thing about it, if you do not know, I am two years in my recovery. That is the reason why I started this podcast. That is the reason why I love to have interviews from people that share their stories about addiction on my channel. So at any time, you can go on my channel and watch. I got over 100 interviews of people that share their testimonies. Because on my podcast, we try to inspire those in addiction. That is what I love to do because I am two years in. And at the end, everybody, I will also share with y'all my terrifying time when I met Satan. This is real. This is a spiritual warfare we are battling. And when you are in your ministry or in your calling and you're coming out of your addiction and you're trying to tell others about your addiction, the enemy will try to staff with your voice. He will try to shut you down. Because he do not want you to go out there and wake up others in addiction and on their path to recovery. Now, let's continue. 
This is showing that the enemy wants to silence your God-given gifts and abilities and wants to suppress what God has put on the inside of you. And so this type of dream would be pointing to the fact that the enemy wants to squash your progress in life. So being choked, smothered, or held down in a dream can represent a demonic attack. Number four, accidents. For instance, you can have a dream that you've been badly injured in a car accident or any other type of accident. Having an accident in a dream can be speaking of a future demonic attack on the life of the dreamer. And of course, you would pray against this from happening so act like i said once again when you having these dreams there is a reason why we are having these dreams because we're trying to break the chain we are trying to get loose from this addiction we've been battling us in addiction we've been battling for so long and we're trying to get away from this shit it is hard to try to get away from this shit man so the en the enemy will visit you in these dreams and you will wake up out of these dreams like what the fuck what the fuck is going on? You might be sweating and everything else. You don't know what is going on, but you know you are having these dreams. It is a reason why. But you continue to stay focused and do not let that deter you from anything. Because we will continue to fight in our recovery. That's what it's about. Let's continue. Accidents in a dream can be pointing to a demonic attack on the life of the dreamer. Number five, stolen items. So if you have a dream that someone steals something from you or they rob you, this may be revealing a demonic attack. In John 10.10, 10, it says the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. So if someone is stealing from you in a dream, it can be pointing to a spiritual attack. And the enemy wants to steal your destiny. Number six, nightmares and monsters. So nightmares are from the enemy and having nightmares and seeing monsters in your dreams is a tool that the enemy uses to incite fear and terror in the heart of the dreamer. And that is the reason why they trying to, the enemy is really trying to scare you, man. He's really trying to get into your dreams. He's trying to get into your head. You're trying to deter you, you from your path. You know, see, you on the right road right now. And if you are watching this right now because you probably have any dreams or you looking it up. And thank you again for clicking on my video. And I would love for y'all to continue to come back to my video. Continue to hit that like button. Hit the like button right now if you love it, any parts of this content. Because I'm going to keep on cooking. We cooking and she cooking at the same time. But I did this what it's about, man. We having these dreams because the enemy just want us back. He want us back real bad. And you are trying to get out of your addiction. You're trying to get out of your um, the stage that you was in. And you now you're in recovery. Now you're feeling good about yourself. Your family is feeling good about you. You're starting to go to work. You're starting to level up. You're starting to do things the right way. Boom. You're starting to have these dreams. The enemy knows that you are on the right path. He's trying to deter you. Do not let the enemy deter you at all costs. You stay firm. You stay 10 toes down. Never fold. Now, while she cook, I know I'm cooking. I know I'm cooking too. If y'all love any parts of I'm, the way I'm cooking, because she's cooking way better than me. Now, this woman right here, she tell the truth. But comment down below, what was your most terrifying dream? And which dream was it? I would love to see y'all comments down below. And let's continue. And so night terrors would be a demonic attack. These types of dreams usually come about through open doors. In other words, the dreamer's actions or lifestyle has given access to demonic intrusion in the dreamer's life. I did a video on sleep paralysis, night terrors, and nightmares. So I want you to watch that video after you watch this one. And just like she said, also, I would love for you guys to go because I also did a terrifying, vivid, lucid dreams. For those that be having those lucid dreams, those nightmares, I also did a video on that a couple of months ago. So right after this video, I would love for you guys too, to go check that video out. That is a great video and another interview I did 
with another guy who was having those dreams as well. So, so make sure you go check that out right after this video. Let's get into it. Number seven, animal bites and bee stings. So if you have a dream that an animal is biting and attacking you, this would absolutely represent a demonic attack. Also being stung by bees or wasps would also symbolize a demonic attack. And you can have a dream where a person is biting you and attacking you and you don't know the person in real life. That would also represent an evil spirit attacking you. So animal bites and bee stings or even human bites can be showing a demonic attack on the dreamer. Now, number eight isn't a dream, but this has happened to many people. And that is waking up with scratches or bruises. Has that ever happened to you? This not only shows a demonic attack, but this is also. And if you are going through something like this, you really, 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 really need to. Uh, if you are into whatever your your spirituality is, you really, you really need to uh, understand this one right here. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to let her cook. I'm going to let her cook. I'm going to let her tell y'all what she does so revealing witchcraft so if you wake up with unexplained scratches or bruises all over your body this is definitely revealing that witchcraft is at work and that you need to break the spirit of witchcraft off of your life like i was saying this is a spiritual warfare we are battling in this addiction man this is real when we've been in our addiction for so many years man the enemy do not want you to turn back the enemy wants to kill, steal, and destroy you, you the, the, the entire person you are. He has managed this far to destroy everything about you. Now that the enemy see that you are trying to get yourself back together, you're trying to get your shit right. You're trying to probably get your kids back. You're trying to get, get your family members and people to start loving you again. He don't want that. He really wants your soul. He want to kill you. He wants you to, to continue to do this shit until you overdose. Until you kill yourself. That's what it's about. And when the enemy starts seeing that you're getting out, he will show his ugly head. He will show his ugly head. If you like any parts of this country today, make sure you click that like button. It is very important, y'all, click that like button. But the enemy, hey, this is a spiritual warfare we are battling. And this is serious. Like I said, I keep it real, raw, and uncut on my channel. Because I know in addiction, you want to hear the real stuff. You don't want to hear nobody sugarcoat nothing. You do not want to hear anybody watered down. Oh, in my recovery, this is what we do. Are you in addiction? No, nah, you don't want to hear that. You want somebody to be straight up forward, which that's what I do on my channel. So you love any parts of my content, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now press that subscribe button i will appreciate your subscription and let me let this woman continue to cook because she's cooking so waking up with unexplained scratches or bruises would be pointing to the spirit of witchcraft that is operating in the dreamer's life so there you have it those are the eight reasons on why we are having these dreams and like i said i know the reason why you are here Mr. Show, I thought you were going to tell us your story. Yeah, I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to get right to it. But them are the reason why we're having these dreams. And one thing about it, I would love to let, do not let that deter you from your, your path to recover. Stay firm, stay solid, and never fold in your addiction. There's one thing about it, everybody. When we're on our road to redemption and we're on our road to recovery, these dreams will occur. So just do not panic. Just try to understand them. Try to understand them. Yeah, so that's what we're doing on this podcast show today. But let me break it down to y'all, man. Listen to me. This is the story about my spiritual warfare. Because like I said, we are dealing with a spiritual warfare in this addiction. It is real. So I'm in my recovery. I think this is my first year in. And this is a real true story. I'm in my recovery. And I'm going to church. And you know when a pastor is at the altar. And he's calling everybody down that wants to be saved. 
I was with my family, I was with my kids. And a pastor is praying over the congregation. And he asked him, if you want to come down and you want to be saved. I just felt something in me. I felt something in me. I wasn't peer pressure into going. I didn't want to do it because I knew it was the right thing to do. I just felt it. And you guys out there, if you know what I'm talking about, comment below. If y'all know, really know what I'm talking about. I felt it. I felt it in my soul. I really, I felt it. So I went down and I kneeled down and the pastor and the first lady, they all prayed over me and I got saved for the first time in my life. I got saved that day. A couple of days go by and I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to live the right way. Doing things the right way. Getting closer with my God. So everything is going good. My family is happy. The kids are happy. I'm doing good in my addiction. I'm not using. I'm not drinking. So everything is on the up and up. So I had this dream. I went to bed one night and I had a dream. In, the, in my dream, this dark figure. And I know it was the enemy. Y'all let me know in the comment box below what y'all think this was. I could not see his face. His face was all black. But his eyes was fire red. And in my dream, he kept coming closer. Closer. And closer. The only thing he kept saying was, I want you back. I want you back. I want you back. Kept saying that. And he grabbed my arms, you all, literally in my dream, grabbed my arms. And we tugging on each other like this. The whole time he is telling me, I want you back. I want you back. I want you back. I'm looking the enemy face to face. Eyes red of fire. I cannot see his face. And the only thing he keep repeating is, I want you back. I want you back. I want you back. And the only thing I was saying was, God is good. God is good. God is good. So why he's saying, I want you back, I want you back, I want you back. I kept saying, God is good, God is good, God is good. And we tugging on each other, arms. He pulling me closer to him. I'm trying to pull away, saying God is good. And every time I said God was good, he bagged up. The enemy bagged up. The enemy bagged up. You guys, this is real. What we are going through is serious. The enemy bagged up. No lie. The enemy bagged up. You guys, this is what we are going through is a spiritual warfare. This is real. This is real. The things that we are going through, man. And I'm trying to just break this down with you guys today because that is what we go through when we're in our addiction. Every time I said God was good, I'm telling you guys, every time I said God was good, he bagged up. He bagged up to eventually he let me go and ran off. The enemy came to me in my dream. Out of all the years in my life, I never had a dream like that. Never, never until I got saved. And the reason why, because I was trying to break free from my addiction. I was trying to live the right way. I was trying to do things the right way. And the enemy do not want that. 
The enemy came to me face to face. He literally told me, I want you back. Now, one thing we got to do in our addiction, we got to stay firm. And we got to stay prayed up. We got to stay prayed up. Because every time I said, my God, God is good. The enemy did not want to hear that. We have to stay prayed up. And we have to want to do it. We have to want to do it, everybody. Because in our addiction, there will be dreams. There will be people that come to you. It probably won't even be a dream. The enemy come in all forms. He will come to you as your wife. He will come to you as a friend, co-worker. You have to be aware that the enemy do not want to see you succeed or do anything the right way. He wants you down and out, begging for him. He wants you to go out there and do the things that go tear your body down. They go lend you in jail. They go eventually kill you. That's all he wants. And we could have got to stay prayed up. That is my story, everybody. So I'm just, I wanted to bring y'all this video. I hope you guys liked this episode today because we were trying to break down the reason we are having these demonic addiction dreams. And I hope you guys liked the way this woman was cooking because she did her thing. She did her thing. And I hope y'all like my commentary as well. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We will appreciate your subscription. I hope you guys come back and visit me again. This is Mr. Show Out TV. This is the Sober Gang Experience Podcast. Till next time. Yeah. Welcome to Mr. Show Out TV Recovery and Addiction YouTube channel where we hope to inspire those battling addiction. Please subscribe and like the channel. Make sure you click the notification bell to get notified whenever we broadcast. Thank you and enjoy the show. To support the channel, you can send donations to Cash App Dollar Mr. Show Out TV. So please don't wait, subscribe now. Together we can help and give inspiration to millions of people. What's up everyone, it's Mr. Show Out TV. And thank you for choosing my channel to come to for great content about addiction and recovery related topics. Let's continue to inspire those in addiction. Let's continue to make a difference. Let's continue to subscribe everyone. Continue to subscribe, continue to hit the like button. Continue, let's get these likes up. And continue also, remind yourself to hit the notification bell. So when anytime I go live, you will be notified. Let's continue to inspire those in addiction. Thank you, thank you so much for choosing my platform to come to for great content. Continue to watch my videos and continue to share the message with the show on TV. Yeah.